Okay, hi, welcome and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time it was very heavy, mind you, pretty much every part is heavy, but last part in particular was another very heavy part. Martha was taken, the whole of Martha's rest was basically under attack by Order of the Black Shields. I think the Black Shields were the same people that attacked at Phoenix Gate, I believe so anyway. And that Annabelle, his mother, was the only other person to order the Black Shields. I think that's what they were getting at. So we're gonna continue on. We didn't finish the mission. We are about to go back to, well, return to Martha's rest. We just laid the remains of um, the people who fought to save Martha and Abbott. We laid them to rest in the, uh, the, the, the lake. so OP. I love it. I love it so much. I really like the fighting in this game. I don't necessarily like the uh, the slow part. I get that it's obviously the law and it's interesting to learn but there is something about the fighting that I just I love so much that when I'm not doing it I just miss it. Hmm. Like, it's just so much fun. I know I know. now's not really the time to be this hyped and like upbeat, but like the fighting, there is something about the fighting in this game that I genuinely love so much. It is so much fun. I, I think it's one of the best like gameplay. Thank you, founder. Maybe you should get up now, buddy. Like, do you need help? We can probably carry you upstairs. Do you need the help? I don't I don't know. I'm glad Martha's safe. Both for her sake and the town's. This place wouldn't be the same without her. They've killed my parents. Oh. We'll return to the hideaway as soon as we've finished our ministrations. Martha. Oh, I should have spoken to him. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Does it mean I won't? Does it mean their blood's not on my hands? Cole said you cast their remains. And that was good of you. But it should have been me. This was all my fault. How? Exactly. You couldn't have known. But I did. And I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool oh, I am. No. The rumors started moons ago. Of black clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. Oh, no. I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense I of her actions. I want him to meet her again so And picking what badly. goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. If those Imperials right think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. Oh. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. <gasps> Gav! Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young curse breakers. Quest complete. If you don't mind, Sid. 
I'd like to stay here with Martha. Just until she finds someone to guard the rest, that is. Martha's a stout soul, all right. Anyone else will be out cold after what she's been through. Is this the same? I think it's the same. Oh. Nothing out there, how rude. Can even leave a chest for me. Disgusting. I'm leaving. Let's do this side mission first, though. We'll return to the hideaway as okay. soon as we finish our administration. Try not to move. You handy with that sword of yours? Of course you are. I am. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the I thing. I am actually. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. What do I get? Chocobos. Damn. You heard me right. We have very different responses. Wild birds. To that. Hmm. The big <laughs> ones. And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. Okay. <sighs> All right. <laughs> There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. Okay. You save Whiteheart and her flock. You hear me? There ain't a well, I can't if you're still speaking. in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. Okay. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. Let's go. We've got a mission to do. Down here. Find the hunter chocobo. We must save her. I think it's a girl. I can't actually remember what he was saying. Why not? That's quite a name for a chocobo. I think that's like one of my pet peeves though, when in games they're like, quick, hurry up, go do stuff, and yet they're still speaking in the slowest pace possible. It's like, are you being for real? Come on. Do you want me? I'll do something, Antoine. Like, do you want me to have a sense of urgency? I, I, I do, and then you just take it away from me, and it's very difficult. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Oh, yeah, Looks the like prince. they went that way. Let's get these crabs. doing it so much. Let's fight a big horn. Did this respawn in? I feel like it did.
Yeah, I want this. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. I'm willing to have one. Oh, look. Oh. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? That just looks so great. Bad for business. <laughs> but I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. I'll pay a good point to mount yours. Oh. And why is that, eh? Where's Jill? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Or I'll hurt you anyway. It's off. Or better still, how about we hurt you both? Alright then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Where's Jill? Jill literally was not there. these boss fights they're just so easy to get into and the abilities chef's kiss now that we've got even more there's more stuff to do love it wait for something to cool down go to another then another then another then go We're back to the now. one that's now not on cooldown anymore it's great white heart i presume Aww. <laughs> Aww. do you know her boy Huh? That's gone. <gasps> it couldn't be. No. Ambrosia. Oh my god. It is you. You survived. <laughs> and you found yourself a flock. <laughs> Oi! He, he isn't over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. did well. And not only that. I, I'd feel wrong to take her. I want to take her, but it feels wrong. Well, I'll be. 
I never stop to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. <laughs> Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. <laughs> <laughs> Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I, uh, like that. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. <laughs> Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. She does. And, they don't... and it seems they our come back pals to the hideaway. Agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. <laughs> the the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Oh my god. Oh. What is this noise? A saddle! <gasps> it's like an eye patch. A brave warrior she is. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? Immensely. She does though. indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old white heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. Can you imagine not doing this side mission? Oh. You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. You have fun traveling with your master now. <laughs> hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you? And... It's you! No. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. <laughs> oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. To you too. Take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. I am Persia. Oh my god. The white winged wonder. Chocobo unlocked. Okay, mount up after 18 long years. Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and X to mount the chocobo. Ambrosia! Ready, go! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Wait, where's the other one gone? Okay, well, we're gonna be traveling to the hideaway anyway. Yeah, because Gav's back. Good old Gav. I love him. I miss Gav. Oh, where's Gav? Gav should be back by now. I never have seen this. Like, so. <laughs> oh. Well, don't just stand there, God. Is that all? My love, your stuff is trash. If Martha's going to get back on her feet, she'll need our help. Before I speak to Gav, I am just going to go check from the messages, although I... This is where I was going. <laughs> where are my chambers? Are my chambers the other way? They might be the other way. On autumn's breath, ill tidings born, an erstwhile home in twain are torn. In his path, fell shades of eye. Bring, let them not impede his Beautiful. <laughs> you think 
Oh, look at them team. playing with Togo. Oh, yeah, there is a letter. And there's another Hall of Memory thing. I think. No, there isn't. Oh, there is Ambrosia's Tack. A saddle and blinders. Blind blinders? Crafted specifically for Clive's childhood chocobo, Ambrosia. Even after being separated from her master, the noble seed served the people of Rosaria in his steed, protecting the defenseless from the merciless, just as a good shield should. <laughs> and what's the letter? A bird by an any other name. Oh, this is from Joe. Forgive my insistence on writing you these silly letters. Would that we had more time to speak to each other in person. We were just together. But for every day we spend together, it feels as though we must suffer another to apart. I'm glad into- What? You have not been separated from him. <laughs> what? What? I'm glad to hear of your most unexpected re- You were literally right there with me. Reunion with Ambrosia, or should I say Whiteheart. You told me how your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at Phoenix Gate. And here, so many years later, we find she has spent her life doing the exact same thing. Defending others. Some things never change. Be they quiet. <laughs> Why is she? I mean, okay, but like, they just spent the last mission or two, three together. Like, come on. Hi, Gav. How are you? Ah, uh, Clive! How oh, I've missed that scowl. How I've missed you. Where's my report? Oh, wow. He's what, right no in kind the business. Be ruled, pal, Gav. <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. <laughs> now sit down, you fool. Ooh. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? Mm -hmm. And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Mm hmm. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <laughs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. Oh. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Ooh. Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Ironholm. Drake's fang in Dalmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. And Drake's tail here in the crystalline dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. <laughs> My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? 
Anyone seasick? Ooh, this is so exciting. The Song Otto's counter is now open. Ooh, what's this? New facilities. The following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant reports the patrons Whisper and Huntboard. All three are located near Octo in the maps. What are we waiting for indeed? Hmm. I think it's alright to touch him. Those men didn't hurt Martha, did they? She's okay, Goots. She's, she's okay. How do I... I hear there's trouble in Rosera. Eh, you're right. Sorry. That room's as ragged as... It's a bit me. So Martha's alright. Ooh. Yeah. Hello. There you are, good boy. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? <laughs> the matter is this, Kubo. Oh, okay. The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Ooh, Those that might like pose a threat to our operations if they were left to run eye? free. Is that what Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was... Is that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Kubo. I knew that already. It's so cute. And that's why I need your help. As I need not remind you, Kubo, I am the mightiest of all the Moogles. No fiend of the... Okay, so you say everything else so slowly, but like that so quickly. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness Boo. aside for the moment. <laughs> the people of Alistia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, like we aren't busy enough can. already, or at least I can try. Oh, thank you. It's so good to have found someone who understands me. Okay, so you want to say that slowly? I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the bullets that get posted from the vaults. If there's anything you need to know, Kubo, I'm your Moogle. Well, let's view it. Okay, this is the one that we fought the eye. There's the Angel of Death. A trader coming by of the Cairn event met with the troop of the Curse Breakers, traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes are wild and flickering. Though the Curse Breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through their past, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept up a brisk pace. And there's also Belf. What's cool. been received of a wild abyss of striking size making its nest atop the hill adjacent to East Pool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border that we might have cut the fiend down before it makes treacherous of the nearby villages. Did you see that the curse breakers give every bullet a rank of riskiness, Kubo? From this thing you could kill with a single swipe to a seven nation army? Didn't scratch this thing's skin. But I'm sure you'll be fine, Kubo. Well, not sure, but that's one risk I'm willing to take. It's precisely what you see before you, Kubo. The curse breakers note down the details of any particularly dangerous monsters they hear about or encounter in the course of their duties, Kubo. And post the bullets here, Kubo, so that any stout soul who wishes to do the realm of service might set out to slaughter an ungodly horror of two, which is where you come in. As for me, I have the most important duty of all, painting a big red cross over each and every one you cut down, Kubo, so that everyone can sleep at night knowing that the realm is a safe place, sir. A safer place. In place. Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent, Kubo? I don't Kubo? think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been. Look at these wings. So they look like the sword that might carry a moogle across countless seas of open sea. They call me Nectar the Bold, not Nectar the Stupid, Kubo. Oh, I, did I not ask about that? I did. Oh, I, okay. Okay. This is Vivian. And how may I assist you today? Ask about Vivian. One would think. 
My role is abundantly clear by now. I offer you and yours the guided and light of knowledge, that of matters military and political, both past and present, that it might illuminate your way ahead. For it is only by understanding what has come before that one might steer one's way towards a brighter future. Your role, meanwhile, is to ensure that I remain furnished with as much information on the state of the realm as your people can muster, in order that I might continue to appraise the dispositions of the great nations and those who rule them. <laughs> And of course to pay attention during my lectures, it would not do to appoint the storied Nine Tails as your tutor only to disregard her expert advice. I admit. When I took up the professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Canva, I did not think of a moment that I would one day count Sid the outlaw among my pupils, but nor did I imagine that my fellow educators who would have designs on my life, and we both know how that ended. Has it been a year already? <laughs> Such is the power of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One is wont to uncover that which others would go to great lengths to ensure remained hidden. Were it not for you and our mutual friend having come to my rescue, my curiosity would have likely have proved fatal. But instead, I was not only saved, but granted a new lease of life as personal tutor to a band of outlaws. A far less. more reputable fellowship than anything in the academic world, I can assure you. My beloved homeland. The crossroads of Elsia, where one has only to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal seals more shards than any other, and it lands even now remain untouched with the blight. It is a blessed country. Or at indeed. least, it was. Until Sandbrook elected to invade and establish a new holy capital upon twin sides here to here, here to four neutral shores. <sighs> It pains me to see the land I love so change, and even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sil Sylvester had designs in the Dominion, but to abandon Oriflam, the seat of the Holy Empire since its inception, seemed too audacious a move even for him. Has what it is it that you wish to learn? By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current goings on in Valacia, revisit any of the Nine Tails past lessons, or take a deeper look at the relationship with those individuals in Clive Orbit. Oh lord. Oh, it's of like course. a family tree. So there's Clive, Jill, puppy little Torgil. <gasps> look at baby Torgil. Oh, it like changes. So this is after Drake's head. Dominant of the Phoenix and former heir to the Ducal Throne, Joshua was thought to have died at the hands of the second Icon of Fire during the disaster at the Phoenix Gate. However, he somehow survived, appearing before his brother once more some 13 years later in the inner sanctum of Drake's head, and saving Clive from Ultima's advances by calling upon the power of the Phoenix to seal the being within himself. Yeah, that's like what I thought. Look at the way he changes. Yeah, I could definitely tell that he was older. Still looks good though. This is the Duchess. Oh, look at the flag changing. Duchess of Rosario, wife of Archduke Elwyn, and mother to Clive and Joshua, it was her ever purpose in life to preserve her phoenix-bearing bloodline, for which, she, for which reason she betrayed her husband, that she might enter in the league with the force she judged the mightier, the holy empire of San Breck. It was Annabella's treachery that led to the disaster at Phoenix Gate. Oh look, her name's changed. She's not Rosefield anymore. Former Duchess of Rosaria, now Empress of the Holy Empire of San Breck. Ooh, it was ever her purpose in life to preserve her phoenix bearing bloodline. Now she rules over Rosaria as Viserine of the Empire Province, which she rules with a cruelty and contempt for the base born that was unknown in Archduke Alwyn's day. Rodney? Rodney! What about Ambrosia? Sir Tyler? Oh yeah, Tyler and Wade! I completely forgot about them. Oh look! This is everyone now. Wait, what's this? Oh, this is friends. Ooh, I'm gonna guess this is bad. March of the Black Shields. Following Empress Annabella's orders, the Black Shields of Rosaria expand their persecution of bearers in the Imperial Province. The first mass culling of bearers and those deemed overly sympathetic to their blight turns the streets of Rosalia red before spreading to every corner of the old duchy. Oh look, yeah, you can see the main, oh, main protagonist. Benedict, yeah, Benedict. Oh, him! I remember him as well. Ellen. Hannah. Hannah and Rodney. Ambrosia looks like she's died and I don't like it. That's so cool. The way you can see it, like, expand. Yeah, look. He's presumed to have died and then he comes back, which is so cool. Oh, look, and you can see Dominant of the Phoenix, Dominant of Ifrit, hunting. We're hunting Titans, Dominant. Okay. 
That's really. This ends today's lesson. I I actually really enjoyed uh really enjoyed reading that. Without a ship to carry you there, Drake's breath might well be on the move. Desire. Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. Hi. The patron's Whisper. Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friends' donations? Oh no, that's still me. <laughs> it's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. Hmm. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Sure. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. Completing side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the Double Twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visiting Desir at the Patrons Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown level. Ooh, sure. You earned this. Thanks. All yours. Don't All actually done? know who you are, but cool. How are you doing? Yo, Vivian Line. Oh, I remember that. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Oh, same old. Otto's gonna be reading through the reports coming in from our allies and picking out what problems need dealing with now and what can be saved for later. It was still early days back in the old place, so I could just about handle the job myself. State of the world now, though, I need these help to sift through it all. And that's just the sifting. Actually solving any of the problems is a whole other headache. The curse breakers take the urgent stuff, but we're still stuck waiting for volunteers to so, handle the rest. Uh... If you ever find yourself at a loose end, well, you know where to find me. Ooh. So much has happened since that night, feels like a lifetime ago, but we'll never forget those who didn't make it. Kenneth, Martel, they're still with us in our Sheet. hearts. When I found out that he was gone, I thought that was it He's for us. He's still with us too. With us and in you. You took his name and gave us hope when we had none. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be a stranger, eh? A hideaway ain't nothing of that it's said. You watch yourself out there, all right? I didn't read what her... How may I help you today, Clive? Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at The Whisper, Otto has piled countless other tasks from transcribing, sorting soulless reports to penning needful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Jara back in the old hideaway. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. That honor goes to Shirley. Still. I like to think that Jara would be proud of me, or maybe it's Hara, too, were he with us today. Words are immortal. They live on in others, and if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Jara or Yara. In our last lesson before Titan came, it stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become <sighs> what I am today. I imagine we survivors all have a story like that of someone who remains with us even though they're gone. Off you go then. Oh, that was, that was real sweet. Okay, so I'm gonna have to get down right. to this person. Yep. Uh, I don't know how to get down there. How do I get to ya? Oh, okay, wait, I can go up. I think I have to go around. It's quite far. It's quite a far journey. Oh, what's in here? Is there a chest? Yar, no, no, no trash. Once the Dalmegs have laid siege to the Dominion, very little will be leaving Twinside, including the many Treatment diary. <gasps> Today, Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and switched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so it could heal. But not an hour later, he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. The next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. <laughs> uh, honestly, that's probably the only way you're going to be able to have Clive heal. And even then, he'll probably find a way to get the, the ties loose. Let, let's face it. I've been in there. And you say Sid built this place. I'd be like, what Sid? What what Sid could have? What Sid was around? Did you come through the forge today? <laughs> oh, is this the same guy with the boat? Oh no, maybe it's the botanist. With the water. Yeah. I figured this person would come. Well, now, Martel. See, Hi. I, I am uh, was open to speak to you. What's up? Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, 
As you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. Let's go, okay? It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. <laughs> Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. What do you need I these took it on, you see, after she... Well, oh. after she died. And now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it. it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. <laughs> Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the curse breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Of course. It'll be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. <laughs> oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Okay. Find the curse breakers. Oh, there. I think they're just all up there. Going the right way, yeah. <sighs> they say removing a brand is almost as painful as getting one. Oh. Good luck. Here you go, guys. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here, courtesy of Martel. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Of course she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Love plants more than people. <laughs> Aye, and brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. Gift from the backyard for your service. Ooh! Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hardaway apple since. Uh, old Sid time. was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? They are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Doesn't sound like it. <laughs> okay. Oh. 
could have teleported me. <laughs> Hello. Everyone sends their regards. The curse breakers send their thanks and their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her a after all these years. I suppose she was very kind, even to a tongue tied lummox like me. You were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't going to rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. When she died, I named a sapin after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. I'm just as sweet as her. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. No. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? That's very pretty. Hang on. And <laughs> go. What's it called? Another level up. We're now level 26. And we got some of our apples. Right. Let us start the journey. Two Hawks Cry Cliff. We're going after Drake's breath, right? You think so? That room's as ragged as I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. Yeah. Okay. Right, wait. Right. It's alright to touch him. Maybe a. Oh, here it is. This is what we need to go for that way, but that's it. To Hawk's Crycliff, from these heathered, yeah, heathered highlands, one might catch a glimpse of Rosalith Castle and everything else in between. Let us go. Oh, I'm excited. Southern Rosaria. Oh, okay, we're back with Jill and Torgal. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Oh. What you got? I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. Is this her chance to face hers? If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. We will face it together then. To the end. chapter which means i am going to leave the death for today how far do you think your mother's reach extends will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at martha's rest more than likely which is why we should hurry there are still many settlements between here and port isolda we visit as many as we can and hear their stories starting with the village of amber 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the dirt for today. Oh, I cannot wait for him to see his mom again. It's gonna happen. It's it's going to happen and I cannot wait for it. Uh, I'm gonna do an upgrade of that one. And I do wanna... Oh, I wish I hadn't done that now. Alright, let me upgrade it. Okay, I'm gonna have to just like wait. Whew, but yes, I'm going to create a new save and I am going to leave that there for two days part of Final Fantasy 16. So excited! It was definitely, a, again, a much more slower one. I do prefer the high action ones just because I do love me some of the combat and I just find it fun to play. This one, it when it's like this, it's fun, but it's definitely a lot of reading and a lot of information. But it was good, nonetheless. Less. I am going to go ahead and leave that there for today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you in the next part of Final Fantasy 16. Thank you. Bye!